Hey guys, it's Devin. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, you probably clicked this because I will be doing a Louis Vuitton new bum bag opening. I'm so excited. I literally just grabbed it from the UPS man and opened it real quick to see. But then after that, I do want to share with you some of my summer favorites. I know it's only the beginning of June, but I've really been loving a few products that I think are going to be great for summer, as well as some clothing items that I've purchased for summer that I'm really loving. So after the bum bag opening, I do have some shoes, makeup, products, clothing that I want to share with you, but let's get right into it and probably the reason why you're here to see the new Louis Vuitton bum bag. So I've always been a huge fan of all the fanny packs and everything, so I was really excited when I saw the new bum bag redone. I think it's super cute and chic. I think it's perfect for summer and for travel, so let's open it. I think honestly it's a really good size too, like I said, for travel or anything. I think it's really perfect. It's adorable. I definitely am on the smaller side, so I feel like this is the perfect size for me. It has a front pocket here that is kind of tight and small, but you definitely can fit something in there. I'll probably put a lipstick or something like that. And then the main part that opens, we have the strap and the chain, which I really love the addition of the chain. I think it's super cute. Inside is kind of more on the difficult side to open, but it's not bad. It definitely is spacious, I think, for a mini bag. I'm going to put some of my things in it also and see like what can fit but I just really love it. I think it's so adorable, so cute. I love the shape. I love that it's just not a basic fanny pack. So this is her on. I have already adjusted the strap to kind of where I like it. I feel like it could go up even a little higher, but this is comfortable on me. Yeah, that's the mini bum bag. Quick opening, quick review. I love it. I feel like it's pretty easy to get into. It's pretty spacious. Let's put a few things in it and kind of see what will fit real quick. Okay, so let's see what we can fit in here. First of all, I have the iPhone Max Pro, the 12, I think. I don't know. I definitely need a new phone. It's pretty big, but... Barely, barely fits. If I had a smaller phone, it would definitely be better, which I actually might get. Let's not even put my phone in there at the moment because she's she's too big. This is the Zoe Ballerine wallet and fits perfectly beautiful. The iPhone definitely would fit with the Zoe wallet, but like I said, she, okay, it fits. There we go, we got the phone in. I think I am going to get the smaller phone because <laughs> it's too big anyways for my small hands. A Dior lip glow, which I wear all the time. Yes, fits. We have, let's for funsies say we need SPF. Okay, yeah. Uh, or hand lotion. I feel like my Chanel hand lotion is probably about the same size. So, yeah. Let's put our sunglasses in without a case because we like to live on the edge. Oh. Uh, yeah, I think we can make it happen. It's kind of tight, but it's definitely doable. It's not like bulging out anywhere. Uh, car keys, who needs them? Because obviously they don't belong in this beautiful bag. So that's what you can fit. So I definitely feel like if I don't have my huge brick of a phone, 
in here, which I might get the new phone anyways and get a smaller iPhone. I feel like I could fit a ton of more stuff, like some hand sanitizer, which I would use every day, some lotion also. That's pretty much it. I don't keep too, too much in my purse. My keys with pepper spray, which wouldn't fit, but I would just hold them, I guess, or I'd be going somewhere where I didn't need them. I mean, it's, it's mini, but it definitely does fit things you can fit a lot in it and that was without having anything in here so i probably would put some little hand sanitizer like mini wipes maybe in here or something but overall i still you know just still love the mini bum bag she is adorable i'm definitely going to be wearing her all summer i feel like i can fit everything that i do need for summer in this but honestly it's the perfect bag in my opinion for travel, if you're shopping, I love that it's hands free, obviously. If you were going on like a European vacation, which has been like all the rave on TikTok, which I'm not doing, but you know, I'm sure I'll make a few beach trips and my mini bum bag will be with me. So yeah, um, I hope that was helpful. A little fast unboxing of the mini bum bag. So if you have any comments or questions on her, feel free to drop them below and I will try to respond. I do have the strap on probably one, two, three, the fourth hole. And I am 4'11 for size reference. Again, this is the iPhone 12, I think, Max Pro compared. This is like huge in my hand. Yeah, it does fit inside, but takes up a lot of room. Let's go next into some clothes that I've purchased for summer, starting with this cute fit. This is a linen two-piece set from Madewell. It actually wasn't together, it was separate. It's super breathable, it's a very light. I don't feel like it's too see-through, I feel like it is just the right amount of material to not be too sheer, but also not be too heavy. It's definitely very breathable. I really love this. I wish I had it in more colors. I have a top under it, but I feel like it still would be super cute buttoned up. I'm just really happy with it. I love love linen I think I am definitely a summer girly because linen is just my favorite especially the white linen so I'm really happy with this and definitely will be wearing it a lot I also got these Dixon fisherman mule shoes which I love I am really not a brown type of person or aesthetic but I feel like I'm starting to be more of the whole minimal clean aesthetic I really like it and I feel like it's just really good staple pieces to have in your wardrobe so I don't have any brown actually really at all I mostly have black I always go with black but I thought these were perfect for the summertime they are so comfortable you can see they kind of have a little bit of cushion I got these in a size 6 which usually I am a size 6 I will say for walking like really far or long distance they might be a little uncomfortable because there is no back strap but I feel like if you're going out to dinner or something on vacation or somewhere where you're not walking a ton of places it's totally fine. I think like with the fit, they go great. Another top I got from Madewell is this really cute collared shirt. The material is to die for. It's just, I love when you get a shirt and the material is breathable and soft and feels good. And this is definitely that. I think it's really cute for summer. It's almost giving me like, um, I don't know, country club mom vibes, which I'm going for, I guess. Very cute, really like it. I think with a long skirt, a short skirt, pants, these linen shorts, anything, it's super cute. Next for some summer jewelry. I love Majuri. It's my absolute favorite brand of jewelry. This little moon crescent choker is from Majuri, and this whole set actually is from Majuri, so I really love Majuri. And I got this really dainty, beautiful, 
adorable gold pearl double wrap bracelet. This is probably something I purchased like last month, but I mean, this is my favorite thing for summer is pearls. I'm definitely going to be wearing this all the time. The one thing I have to say that I wish I would have done is I bought this in a six and a half because my wrist is on the smaller side. And I wish I would have got a seven and a half because I saw another creator, Luis Yu, I believe, wear it as a choker. And I think that, that is so cute. And honestly, I've tried to put the six and a half on my neck. It fits, but it's like way too tight, like choking out status. So I will say a tip if you are getting this to get it in the size bigger and try to possibly wear it as a choker. The next thing I got are some New Balances, which if you know, you know, New Balance shoes are so hard to get. They sell out so fast, like literally within seconds of being online and any other retailer that has them, good luck because you're not gonna find a size because all the Pinterest girlies are just buying these up. But I did find these on Urban Outfitters, which I usually don't shop at too much, but these are the CT302 New Balances. They had some mixed reviews online when I posted this little quick unboxing on my TikTok. Some people said they were ugly AF, they did delete their comment after though, but um, mostly people liked them. I feel like in person, they're much cuter. I don't know why. On film, they don't pick up as cute, but they are very cute. They are kind of heavy on the bottom, but not bad. I mean, if you're somebody that it's hard to lift your feet up to walk, it could be a little difficult, but overall, I really love these. They're very comfortable. Definitely going to be wearing them all summer with my resort wear vibes going on. But yeah, very happy about these. I really love them. I just got them like last week. So going to be wearing these a lot. Okay, the last little bit of clothing before we move on to products and makeup are from Zara. Two pieces that I'm super, super excited about. This is so adorable. It is a little shell top. This was an extra small to small. This actually is still available online. The material is it's Zara material, I'll just say that, but it's it's comfortable. It definitely has a lot of stretch. It is a little lower in the armpits also, but I just love the shell detail. I feel like it's so very summer and resort wear and very, very cute. And I will definitely be wearing this a lot with a ton of different things. I'm really, really happy about it. Next is this beautiful dress. I, I'm obsessed. I love it. It is a linen dress. Almost sold out online when I got it. So I'm pretty sure it's probably sold out now. So I actually bought a medium because the small was sold out, which I would have purchased, but the medium does fit me. It's everything I've been religiously using. So first up for sunscreen, I know Korean and Japanese sunscreen have been really trending and like Beauty of Joseon sunscreen has been so popular here in the US, but let me put you on one that is amazing. I got this from Soko Glam, which I love. You get everything shipped to you super fast and they have tons of of awesome Korean lines on there from makeup to skincare to everything. This is the Neogen Airy Sunscreen. It is an SPF 50, zero white cast at all. If you have sensitive or oily skin, this works amazing. The beauty of Joseon was a little too glowy, I guess a little too glowy for me since I am more on the oily side, but this is really good. I feel like it's kind of in between a matte and a glowy sunscreen. So along with that skincare that we're kind of going on is Kiehl's. So Kiehl's is kind of of expensive but I bit the bullet and I bought some moisturizer this is the ultra face cream I love this this is probably my third little jar of this again like I said it's pretty expensive but there are tons of codes online or if you sign up for the rewards you can get like notifications when they have sales this is just it's amazing. I don't even know what to say about it. I absolutely love this. It is so moisturizing. It's really like thick and luxurious feeling. It doesn't have a strong smell to it, which is good again for sensitive skin like me. Um, you can see it's just, it's just beautiful. Another brand that I've been loving is Chanel Beauty. So I've kind of been on a Chanel kick for some reason, just buying a bunch of different Chanel foundations and trying them out. This is definitely, definitely my favorite by far of all the ones I've tried. This is the Vita Luminaire Aqua. It's an ultra light skin perfecting sunscreen makeup. I got this in 10 beige. So this is my go-to. I've tried literally all the foundations 
from Chanel the last couple of months and this is my favorite. I think it's perfect for summer because it's lightweight but it does really cover a lot. You can also use some concealer if you need to and like a press powder over but definitely by far my favorite SPF makeup tint that I've tried and I think it's absolutely perfect for summer. Following that we have a lipstick that I'm wearing from Chanel. It is really beautiful. It's probably one of my favorite kind of spring and summer colors. This is the Rouge Coco Flash in 90. It is really, really pretty and really lightweight and kind of balm light kind of sheer. Again, this is what I have on right now and I feel like it's really just glowy and pretty, really hydrating. It doesn't get too drying at all, wearing it all day. So I've really been loving that also. So that's all for me guys. Thank you again so much for watching. If you have any questions or comments down below, go ahead and leave them for me. I will link everything. Hopefully nothing is sold out except the bum bag definitely will be and I know the Zara dress, but I'll still link everything down below. I hope you guys have a great summer and are doing well and I'll see you next time. Bye!